Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here, Hobbytown Hobbyplex for a What's New Thursday. Uh, we're going to try to get through this quick because whatever happens is every time that I do one of these, people start walking in the door, which I'm not complaining about. I just think it's funny. So uh, right now we've got the brand new Hyrax 2.8 all-terrain uh, tires from Proline. Um, the crawler guy has got to use the Hyraxes. We've got some short course tires that I forgot to bring over here that are in high racks, and now we've got the pre-mounted ones for like your um, uh, uh, like your Stampede, uh, Haas, Granite, if you get the 12 millimeter hexes, those will go on there. Monster Slash, you could do that. Um, okay, so Hobbytown has started putting more and more out there as far as product goes, and these caught my eye. I actually bought this one uh, for my crawler. And I'll probably buy another one of these for my son's crawler. But uh, light bars, they're metal. They have per pretty long leads and they're not very expensive. $13.99 uh, for the 150 millimeter and then it goes down from there. So uh, that's a pretty good buy. And then also uh, check out this metal car stand. And it even says Hobbytown right there. And it's got the little Hobbytown logo that we're all supposed to use now. So yeah. I like it. It's a swiveling stand. Look at that. It's even got pads and hardware. And it's made in China. Uh, that's probably why it took so long to get them. Uh, okay, SXT launch and afterburn. So this is your uh, drag race tire compound, and then this is your cleaner for when you're done. And uh, the last time I went drag racing, I was actually using SXT, just good old-fashioned black, to uh, clean my tires. And uh, I'm going to try to give this stuff a shot the next time that I go out for sure. Um, another Exotech drag racing item for your DR10 is your uh, eliminator, uh, your uh, spur gear eliminator. Um, I don't think these are very different from, say, the old B5 ones that we used to carry. It's just that they repopped them now and they say DR10. Okay, so I saw this on Harley's show, uh, I think, two weeks ago. His... Uh, uh, Tuesday show with what's new in the scale world or whatever. Um, uh, scale news update. There you go. Uh, these are the Orlando Orlando Hunter floor jacks. And <laughs> I didn't realize that you had to build them. I, uh, I thought they were going to come complete. So this is a floor jack kit that you build. And then you have an actual functioning RC floor jack. So it'll be interesting to see who picks these up and puts them together. Um, more crawler stuff. So I found this. Uh, my son needs a winch, and so uh, this is for his Wraith 1.9. This is a winch servo um, mount. So you have your steering servo on one side and your winch servo on the other. And I think you can put the uh, the fake engine block back back on top to cover it. Another item we got back in stock. We've actually carried these for a while, but they've been out for a little while. It's your SCX 10.2 Vader skid. Um, this is really nice if you, you know, most, most crawlers, ready to run crawlers, have that little oomph, that bump under there, which is a good thing because you're trying to keep the CD low with the motor, but when you're going over stuff, like breakovers and stuff, you can get caught, and this helps you a lot from uh, having that happen. All right, let's swing back up here. So these I'm pretty stoked about. These are the uh, V-spoke aluminum drag wheels from SSD. So these are your rears, uh, they're beadlock, and then these are your fronts and they're 2.2. So uh, those look pretty trick and you know, I thought they were gonna be really heavy. They're not, they're not really that bad. Uh, we finally got in some drag motors. So we've got some Motive Launch drag motors. We've got a, a, basically what I could find, a 2.5, a 3.0, a 4.0, and then this one is a 2.0. So if you're one of those crazy guys that wants to try a 2.0, in your drag car, we've got it in stock. And then I think we also did get a Trinity uh, 3.5. It wasn't their drag racing line, but it was just the regular X Factor one. So um, just in time for a couple big events going on around here this weekend, so we'll see what happens. Um, then you got the B6 Builders Kit. We finally got these in. Uh, they missed last week's What's New Wednesday because I forgot. And uh, basically this is pretty much just a, a B6 front end and rear end. Uh, that you would pick up if you're going to do um, like a sprint car conversion or a drag car conversion, something like that. 
um, where you get the conversion and then you need a donor car. Well, Associated released this to make it way easier on everybody. Um, to be honest with you, I can even see picking this up just to like freshen up your off-road car, really, you know? Um, it's always nice to have a full extra set of shocks as well. And then finally, we got five millimeter locking hubs. So well, we've had the four millimeter ones, and now we've got the five millimeter ones in both red and chrome. You can see the five millimeter, let's see if I can get that right there, there you go. The five millimeter nut. So um, just another way to finish off uh, your project. Okay, now if you've never had the intense fun of, uh, of experiencing a cap gun, the Hobbyplex has you covered. Okay, so we have got uh, a couple of variations of cap guns, and then we've actually got the refills. So we have the uh, uh, the eight shots, we've got the, the rolls, and then the blast caps, these are what you would put in, say, like your grenade here, right on the bottom, and then you launch the grenade, and then the weight's at the bottom, and then it hits the ground and it goes pop. And then uh, if nobody's ready for it, um, they get all freaked out, and maybe sometimes even mad at you. True story, in sixth grade, 1989, I think. I was a cowboy for, for Halloween, and I had my jacket, my hat, my belt buckles, and I had two cap gun six shooters on the side. And that was probably a year or two before you would get expelled for such a thing. So uh, I felt very lucky that I got to experience taking my fake guns to school. So that was great. Um, we have some baby RC trucks, and uh, I don't think that the they function. I mean, they go they go backwards, forwards, um, side to side. But I'm pretty sure that you don't have any control over like the dump or anything like that. And then finally, we've got some new Gundam in. Man, it's been tough to get Gundams right now. Uh, everybody's out of them. Um, I've heard rumors that there's like this shipping, this ship with a bunch of shipping container of Gundams out, just sitting in the middle of the sea somewhere, unable to get off port. So these have been trickling in. Um, I don't know much about them other than they look cool. But then I saw this one, and this one I think we've actually had for a while, but I don't think it's ever made it on the show. Guys, okay, this is a, I believe this is a, a wearable belt, along with a, a wearable wristband, along with a sword that you put together, and then you put on, and then you can practice, not practice, you could, uh, you could pretend to be your own Gundam. So, maybe a little cosplay action in there, I don't know. But uh, I think we've actually had this for a while. And uh, I can't believe I've never put it on here before. I don't think I ever have. So um, there you go. Nice, short, sweet. See what happened is I started doing this and then we get busy. That's exactly the way it works. It's like if you work in retail and you're hungry and you, and you just say out loud that you want to go get something to eat, then all of a sudden the flood of people come in and uh, then you got to wait a little bit longer. So we better go. Uh, this is Alex Sturgeon, Hobbytown Hobbyplex. Make sure that you subscribe, like, tell your friends. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll make another video for you soon.